Hello friends, in this video let us discuss about AC series motor. So here your AC series motor is a type of commutator motor. So the other type of commutator motor you are having is the universal motor. So we know that commutator is a feature of your DC motors. So what are commutator motor here? So commutator motors are the AC motors having wound rotor. They are having wound rotor with with brushings or with the brushes and the commutation arrangements just same like in the armature part or armature section of the DC motor and such motors which are having the brushes and commutator arrangements with wound rotor are referred as the commutator motors. So here the AC series motor are also known as the modified version of the DC series motor. So they are also known as the modified version of the DC series motor because the construction of the AC series motor is exactly alike like your DC series motor except for some basic modifications. Now let us pose ourselves a question what happens when we supply when we give an AC supply to a DC series motor. So the question is what happens when we provide AC supply that is a single phase AC supply to a DC series motor. So in a DC series motor when the field current and the armature current reverses at the same time then you will be having a unidirectional current. So when you are applying or when you are providing AC single phase AC supply to a DC series motor you are having a unidirectional torque you are having unidirectional torque that is the both of the currents that is the armature current and the field current reverses at the same time. So therefore you are having the unidirectional current and the second thing is due to the presence of due to the presence of alternating current now due to the alternate presence of alternating current there will be large eddy current will be induced in the yoke and the field course so which results in the excessive heating of the yoke and field course so there will be the due to AC current there will be the eddy currents induced and which results in the excessive heating. So as a result you will be having excessive heating, excessive heating in the field course and the yoke part and the third thing is now due to the high inductance of the field circuit and the armature circuit of the DC series motor the power factor would be low. So we are having low power factor and the fourth thing is now when you collect the large value of current during the commutation you will be witnessing the sparking at the brushes. So sparking is the other thing you can notice when you provide a single phase AC supply to the DC series motor. Now so we have witnessed or we have seen observed that when we apply a single phase AC supply to the DC series motor we are having excessive or overheating of the field and yoke due to the presence of alternating current and we are having low power factor and uh, we are also witnessing sparking occurring at the brushes during the collection of heavy currents during the commutation period. So now in order to reduce these bad performances on your DC series motor certain modifications have to be done for this DC series motor to be used as the AC series motor on applying the single phase AC supply. So the first modification you can do is so to to in order to prevent the eddy currents induced you can laminate the field and the field course and the yoke part and now to improve the power factor as we know that the power factor is directly related to the reactance of the field that is the field circuit and the armature circuit. So the power factor is directly rela related to the field circuit inductance and the armature circuit inductance therefore we can reduce the number of turns in the series field. So number of turns in the series field but if you reduce the number of turns in the series field the field MMF, MMF will decrease you are having MMF will decrease that means you are having low air gap flux, air gap flux will be low that means there will be the reducing the torque and increasing the speed. 
So we know that we are having a relation n is inversely proportional to phi. So as the air gap flux reduces, there will be the high speed in the motor, and uh, these also release uh, uh, results in the decrease of the motor torque. So therefore, in order to provide the same torque, it is necessary to increase the number of turns, number of turns of the armature proportionately. To produce the same torque, it is necessary to in, uh, increase the number of turns of armature circuit proportionately and this results in the increased armature inductance. Now to compensate the increased armature flux which would produce severe armature reaction, we are coming with a winding known as compensating winding. We are coming with a winding known as compensating winding. Now based on the usage of this compensating winding, you can have two types of motor. So the one is the conductively compensated type of motor and the other one is the inductively compensated type of motor. So this is your conductively compensated type of motor. This is your inductively compensated type of motor. So this is uh, normally a series, DC series motor where we are having. So in the conductive type of motor, the compensating winding is connected in series with the armature circuit and the windings are placed in the stator slots. And if you see the axis of the compensated winding is 90 degrees to the axis of the main field winding. So this is your main field winding and this is your compensated winding. So the axis of the compensated winding is 90 degrees to the main field axis. And in the inductive compensated type of winding, here we do not have any interconnection. This is your main field winding, compensated winding. This is the compensated winding. This is your more armature part, this is the motor. So the compensated winding do not have any interconnection with the armature circuit. Here the transformer action comes into the uh, picture where the armature circuit of the motor acts as the primary and the compensated winding acts as a secondary. So the ampere turns, what happens is, what is the role of compensating winding here is, the ampere turns of the compensating winding neutralizes the ampere turns of the armature winding. That means the armature flux will be neutralized by the compensating winding flux. So if you see here, the current will be the in phase opposition with the current in the armature circuit, therefore you are having the flux in opposition with the armature flux, therefore the compensating winding effectively neutralizes the armature flux. This is the main role of introducing your compensating winding in the DC series motor, that is the main modification we are doing here. This compensating winding which carries the armature current in the conductive compensated type of motor, it produces a phase opposition that is a flux opposite to the armature flux and thereby it successfully neutralizes the armature flux and it cannot neutralize the main field winding flux because it is necessary for development of the torque in the motor. So these are the two types of motor. Now for the motor to be used with both the supplies, with both the supplies of AC and DC, the compensating winding should be placed in series with the motor. That means conductive compensated type of motor can be used for both of the supplies that is the single phase AC supply and the DC supply. Whereas this will be used for your single phase AC supply only. So here the transformer action takes place. Here it is connected in series. So this can be used for both of the supplies AC and DC. Now if you see the overall modifications of your DC series motor, here you are having your motor, this is the brushes, the brushes are the stationary. So the compensated, this is your compensated winding and this is the main field winding. This is the overall diagram of your AC series motor. So here we are having the interpoles. Interpole, this is non-shunt inductive resistor and here we are supplying a single phase AC to the motor. Now, the power factor would be improved by, by this compensating winding which produces a flux opposite to the armature flux and the third thing is we have to 
reduces parking occurring at the braces. So earlier we were used, suppose if I am having the armature coils like this and the commutative segments like this. So earlier we were using the re large resistive leads tapped from the armature coils to the commutative segments. So now these has been replaced by your interpoles. So interpoles basically improve the commutation of the series motor. There is an AC series motor and so these interpoles plays a major role in the improvement of the performance of the AC series motor in terms of the efficiency. So in terms of efficiency and the greater output of the motor in terms of efficiency and the output of the armature of given core these interpoles plays a major role by reducing the sparking during commutation. Now we have witnessed this is the overall diagram for your AC series motor. Earlier we were using these resistive leads tapped tap from the armature coils to the commutator segments and they have been replaced by your interpoles. So here we have seen what is commutator motor and uh, what is compensating winding and uh, we have seen what is a conductive compensator type of motor and the inductive compensator type of motor? We have, we have seen the overall diagram of your AC series motor where the compensated winding is in 90 degrees with the main field winding and here the compensating winding do not have any problem with the rotation because it is connected to the stationary brushes. The brushes are the stationary but the armature may be rotating so it do not have any problem with the rotating armature. But here we are taking more reactive voltage drop in the main field winding compared to the compensating winding and the armature circuit. So to reduce the, in order to reduce the reactance effect of this main field winding, we are taking more reactive voltage drop, more reactive voltage drop in the main field winding compared to the compensated winding and the armature winding in order to reduce the reactance effect on the power factor. So thereby we can improve the power factor by having more reactive voltage drop in the main field winding in this way. So the AC series motors the applications are these are used in hair dryers, portable drills and you can say table fans and in many kitchen appliances etc. So this is all about your AC series motor. In our next video we shall discuss about the phasor diagram of your AC series motor and the characteristics of AC series motor. So please watch that. I hope you understood well about this AC series motor. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.